Hey everybody, Buddy Cosplay here. I've been making a Hellboy costume and no Hellboy costume could possibly be complete without the infamous red color. Now there's several ways you can do red color for your cosplay, um, but I wanted to experiment on a few different ones and show you my results. So this video, I'm going to go over a couple different types of paints that you can use for makeup and for body paint with your cosplays and see which one turns out the best and demonstrate it for you. It's important to start off with a template like I did that you will never really use and you will throw away. For this test, I'm going to set the paints using a actual paint setter as well as some baby powder. This will help to make sure they stay on. We're going to try several different products, one of which is the basic cream paint. It's inexpensive, it flakes off sometimes, it smears kind of easy, and uh, it's pretty easy to remove and it's great for short periods of wear. Next we're going to try our acrylic paint. The acrylic paint is also inexpensive, it's pretty easy to remove, it will also flake off and it's also good for short periods of wear. Move on to some grease paint, add a little water, mix it around. This lasts a lot longer. It does smear a little bit and sometimes it can feel heavy and it's a little bit more difficult to remove. And then we're going to mix up some Pax paint. Pax paint is basically some Prosaid mixed with some acrylic paint. The Prosaid is a little bit expensive. This does last a long time. It does not really smear. It will stick to your hair and I found it very difficult to remove. Prosade is basically a prosthetic adhesive, kind of like a spirit gum, but not as aggressive. Then we're going to move on to a body paint cake, which is made by Snazaroo. It's a little higher cost, uh, it feels really light on the skin, it doesn't flake too much, and it's pretty easy to remove. We're going to move on to some airbrush fabric paint. I wanted to test this out, and that's why I made this video. The results that I found was that it lasts a long time, it feels thin and light on the skin, doesn't really smudge, and it's easy to apply evenly using an airbrush. You could also use a regular brush if you'd like, but I did not demonstrate that in this video. Using the airbrush, we'll just apply a line of it, and we're going to go ahead and dry everything with a hair dryer. The Pax paint took the longest to dry, as you can see everything else is pretty much dry except the regular acrylic and the Pax paint. Once everything was dry, I'm gonna set everything. This process just helps kind of lock in the paint so it doesn't smear as much. And to do this, I'm gonna use some baby powder. And just for good measure, I'm gonna follow that up with some makeup setting spray. This is from a brand called Art Naturals. And I ordered this on Amazon. A couple spritzes of that, and then I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer as well. And to test this, I'm just going to continue about my day for about a good solid three hours just to see if it rubs off on anything or if it starts to flake. Three hours later, we have these results. Looks like everything's staying on pretty well. Nothing really cracked too much. And um, the prosade is very thick as well as the acrylic. And I'm going to put them through a little bit of a torture test. First, I'm just going to use some friction and I'm just gonna rub up and down the length of my arm to see what happens with these. The cream paint's lightened up a little bit, looks a little flaky. The acrylic is pretty thick, so acrylic alone looks like it'll peel off after just a few hours. The grease paint actually lightened up quite a bit, and the Pax paint's holding strong, but as you can see, it is very sticky. It'll also pull off over time. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a water test. For this, I'm just going to spray some water on and rub it on a little bit. And I'm going to wipe it off with a towel. Results, the snazaroo came off pretty bad, as did the regular acrylic paint. Let's go ahead and repeat this test. A little more water and a little more pressure. A lot more rubbing. You see the result of this is that the Pax paint really held up well. Everything else pretty much broke down. The airbrush, it did okay, but I put it through a lot of torture here. So we're just going to actually do it one more time to see how cleanup is. 
and that PAX paint is really on there thick. It's stuck in my hair, it's very heavy, and just knowing that it's going to be very difficult to remove will lower it on the list of uh, what I think would be the best to use. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend four hours in the shower picking little tiny pieces of PAX paint out of my hair. Let's get a drum roll. And the winner is... In my opinion, I believe that the Createx airbrush color was the best. Yes, this is for fabric, but it is lightweight. It was comfortable. Uh, it's easy to apply. Removal was easy and it has a lot of lasting power over some of the other ones. I actually use this for my Hellboy costume, but I wanted to do some testing beforehand. So I wanted to shade first with a little bit of grease paint, lock that in with some powder, and then airbrush over it. So I didn't have to use my airbrush to try to do too much shading. I used some baby powder and some setting spray to lock it all in place. And that's the results. You can see through it pretty well, which I like. And it stays on pretty good. And just to test that it's not going to smear too much, I'm going to run it under some water without any friction, just to see how it lasts. I did this for a good 30 seconds. And if you do rub it, you'll see it does spread a little bit, but it stays on pretty good. Even with all that rubbing, I think this is a clear winner. So that's it. The clear winner for me was this brand of, it's actually a fabric paint, uh, but it's made to be airbrushed. And I've done some research online and everything I found said uh, most people don't have any kind of reactions with it or anything like that. I wore it for an entire day uh, with my Hellboy costume and it did not affect me in any way. So I do want to go ahead and give a quick warning that you should always do your due diligence. Do a test spot like on your arm or something to make sure you don't have any kind of reactions to new materials that you've never used on yourself before. There's also things like grease paints like this you can order from China. Nothing against China, but sometimes they don't always disclose all the things that are in the makeups. So you might find that uh, you put something on, you might have a reaction or something like that. So you always want to check reviews, check online for websites, make sure a company is legit before you order something and put it on your body for any, any amount of time, really. So do your due diligence and ultimately for this test, um, this was the winner and if you're going to paint a large part of your body because I painted basically my whole head and neck area and one of my hands as well so um, airbrushing this on was a whole lot easier than using another kind of makeup that was thick that would peel off and become flaky over time this stayed on fine it wasn't uh, too difficult to get off uh, but I had red in my ears, so um, I didn't even think about getting down in there too well when I was cleaning. So you really have to make sure you clean in the little spots, especially where you can't see behind your ears, things like that. So that's it. That's the winner. And if you try this, be sure to do your research. Make sure you do a test patch on yourself before you use it. And happy cosplaying. I didn't have nothing else to say there. So bye.